when it comes to uh, being addicted to being addicted, <laughs> yeah, I believe it. I know it. Because you could be addicted. Yeah, there's a drama that's associated with that. It's almost like a woman who's a drama queen where it's like she act like she don't want the drama, but she keeps causing drama because she's addicted to the cycle of drama. And there's guys that are addicted to women that are addicted to drama. They fight and then they make up and then it's okay. And then they fight and then they make up and it's okay. And you could do the same thing, but with yourself, 100%. You know, and we, we're, we're here because we're dealing with heavy vices, right? Like drinking and drugs and jerking off. But it comes with uh, stupid little things too, like people who overeat and then they feel guilty. They binge and purge, right? Like they just uh, they eat all this damn food and they feel bad and then they go throw up and then they beat themselves up. And a couple of days go by and they do the same thing. And so you say, you know, the, the, the addiction to the cycle of saying, hey, I want to quit, right? Because what happens? Check this out. When you say you want to quit, there's an elevated feeling of, with it, right? Because then you start thinking, wow, I could have a different life. I could have a new life. Also, it gives me something to do. Like quitting is a doing. And it kind of feeds into our ADD culture where it's like, you know, you get addicted to self-development. Like, I'm going to go do something. I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. And that's why it's an it's a ego trip. And it takes a lot of humility to say, Lord, I can't do this. Take this from me. Rather than, I'm going to do it. I'm going to quit. I'm going to do it this time. Right? There's a difference. Come Holy Spirit, fill me with your self-control means I, I, I have no control here. I'm, I'm begging. I'm asking, like, help me. You don't get the same kind of high that way. In fact, it feels kind of, you know, it feels icky. Like, I don't want to ask for help. But you get to a certain point where it's like, hey, okay, I can't do this. So that, so that elevation that you get in inflation, I'm going to quit, I'm going to do it. And then getting motivated to quit, like you said, that's good, that's a great point. Motivated, what is motivation? Motivation feels good. I'm motivated, I'm going to watch some videos, I'm going to listen to some music, I'm going to set up my schedule and I'm going to sketch it out and I'm going to do this thing. And then, guess what happens? That gets boring. So it's an addiction to a high, it's addiction to an emotional high. Because if you're, if you're going to quit, if you're going to quit drinking, you're going to quit smoking, you're going to be bored. Quitting stuff is boring. <laughs> I warned you guys about this. And many, many years ago, I would talk about it. And I'm happy that I'm bringing it up again right now. You have to sit in the boredom. Be okay being bored. But people who get high, it's because they don't want to be bored. And then when they choose to not get high, it's because they're chasing excitement. And then when they're not getting high, it's boring. So you get high again, and then you feel bad, and you, you feel like you want to beat yourself up, and that's a high too. That's another emotion that you're addicted to. So the whole thing, the whole thing of stepping outside of it is to stop chasing feelings. That's why it's effeminate to be addicted to anything, because now you're chasing feelings. So the whole cycle of, of falling in, falling out, getting motivated, it's the same thing. It's it feels good. To be motivated it feels good to you know be free for a couple days because then the ego gets a stroke but then that gets boring too and so you know i agree with that i agree with all that porn 68% of church-going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use. Are you willing to risk your marriage, family, and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Or are you ready to fight back? If you're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur, caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off, realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be, to live like this? If you're ready to go to war against vice and take your life back, here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.